Cowboy Bebop has been the living embodiment of that meme where it's like manga, anime, Netflix adaptation, where, of course, the Netflix adaptation is completely unrecognizable to the original work. Fans lambasted it when it came out because it was just a train wreck. They really just didn't do a good job on any level on the show. And it's bizarre. They seem to do this to every single property that comes out there. I don't know what Hollywood's ever thinking when they make these shows. It's just they just come out with garbage every single time. It's almost like they're intentionally trying to destroy the properties that everybody loves, even the ones that are coming from anime in Japan. Well, now we have a little bit of drama uh, coming from exactly what happened with this Netflix show, which we're going to get into in just a second. It's kind of ridiculous, but, you know, it just confirms what we were saying all along. Hollywood likes to gaslight us, but we can't be gaslit when their films are honestly this bad. We're going to get into this. All right. My name is John Delarose. If you're new to the channel, I am a number one best-selling author and award-winning comic creator, and this is Flying Sparks Ultra Light Beams right here. This is the manga. <laughs> Maybe I'll have an anime and a Netflix adaptation at some point, uh, but you can rest assured that if I, it ever comes to that, I'm going to make sure uh, our, my characters stay true to what they are in my book. I've done a really good job here crafting a wonderful, wonderful story where there's personal development, there's big superhero battles. It's everything that the comics industry used to have and used to give you, but doesn't anymore because they're too busy just pontificating their identity politics in their books now. So check this out. The link's in the description below. Grab that and back it today. I appreciate the support, everybody. We're almost $10,000. Awesome stuff. All right. Here's the news of the day. Cowboy Bebop director shut off Netflix live action remake after one scene. Oh my gosh. It's the original director of the original anime, the beloved one that we all love. Couldn't even watch it after the first scene. He says, it's clearly not Cowboy Bebop. Holy crap. Netflix's 2001 live action Cowboy Bebop remake was canceled after one season. A huge failure that was supposed to launch a blockbuster new series for the streaming platform. Been a lot of those with the uh, Netflix adaptations of anime. I mean, they just don't seem to understand the uh, storytelling premises that make anime great. I just, I, it doesn't seem to be that hard <laughs> to do a faithful adaptation. But what can you do? I can't. I'm going to rant for a second. Hold on. <laughs> These writers that go into Hollywood and do this stuff, the problem is like they don't actually respect the source material. They're never actually people who are just fans of it, who are interested in it, that actually just want to build a faithful adaptation. They, they're trying to leave their mark, right? And so they're always trying to like reimagine it, do something different, uh, make a different spin on it. And when you do that, you just cannibalize exactly why people love things to begin with because they love that original thing you want to make something that's in that vein you don't want to make something that's completely different or it doesn't work it is unrecognizable as the director says here it's unbelievable all right well back to it a new interview with uh shinchiro watanabe who served as the original director of anime he said he stopped watching it after just one scene because it didn't feel like the anime classic he helped to create for the new Netflix live action adaptation, they sent me a video to review and check. He said it started with a scene in a casino, which made it very tough for me to continue. I stopped there, so only saw that opening scene. It was clearly not Cowboy Bebop, and I realized uh, at that point, if I wasn't involved, it would not be Cowboy Bebop. I felt maybe I should have done this, although the value of the original anime somehow is far higher now. Um, and uh, the uh, <laughs> it was led by John Cho, developed by Christopher Yost, who had nothing to do with the original Cowboy Bebop. He said he was shocked by the streamer's decision to cut short the live-action remake. Well, we're not. Nobody was watching it. I mean, we nobody wanted to watch it. Everybody knew it was a train wreck from the get-go. Are you are you for real? The, the level of like mental gymnastics these Hollywood people do is shocking. I was very warmed by the response to this show. What? <laughs> what response? <laughs> were you hidden in a bunker somewhere? I could have contacted everybody and gotten hugs. Oh, that's what it's about, the hugs. I'm mystified a little bit about how you connect with people that you don't know who are doing your work. But, won't, but I won't question it. I will value it and treasure it. I'm just deeply appreciative of anyone would care. It's stunning to me. Very shocking. And I was bummed. Yeah, well, nobody liked it. I mean, I don't know who these people who were connecting with it were. There weren't many of them, obviously. The entire internet was lambasting it. Uh, all the reviews were terrible. Uh, anybody talking about the show was lambasting it 100%. So where does all this connection come from? I don't know. I think these people are off in their own little fantasy world so much so often that they forget what reality is. They really don't even know where the fans are at. They don't uh, even know what the show is. I mean, gosh, how many, did you even watch Cowboy Bebop before making it? It's the question here, but we'll never get that answer. All we can affirm is that the original director agrees with us, the fans, saying this is garbage, it's a hot mess, 
And gosh, I wish it never happened. We all wish it never happened, and they don't need to remake shows. Let's be honest. It never goes well. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit that like and subscribe button, my friends. And of course, check out Flying Sparks live now. Appreciate it.